Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Monday, March 14th, around noontime 2022. That's mountain time. Record low temperatures, hundreds of them being broken in the southeast. And that's the big story. Winter roars back in the northeast with heavy snow and record challenging chill. Keep calm. It's boom time. There is the record snow in some regions, but a heavy swath of snow for over a thousand miles. New York State's the big winner with over six inches for most of the state. Uh, and New Hampshire, northern New Hampshire and Vermont, just like we said, picking up 18 inches in some areas. So those are the facts as the record colds and chills continue. As the winter storm exit the east, strong winds and blistering cold temperatures will remain, especially this morning where we saw hundreds of temperatures broken. And they will continue for another 24 hours. All the blue dots are low temperature records. Unofficial. And plenty of rain is coming as Atmospheric River nears Oregon. The Northwest needs the moisture and they're going to get it. Here's that system in the Northwest moving through heavy rain and snow in the high elevations. Idaho, including Washington and Oregon, will be picking it up. And then this weekend, a second system will move through and hit the Sierras. And so that's going to bring much needed snow to the region, the Rockies. Here's that first system moving through with heavy snow through Tuesday and Wednesday. Most of it will be on the ground. Uh, another system in the Northeast will bring heavy snow to those same places in northern New Hampshire and Vermont, as well as upstate New York. And then this weekend, another system will be moving through the Northeast and the West bringing hopefully heavy snow to the Sierras all the way down to Baja, snow for all of Nevada, and it's just looking well like a very nice pattern as we move into the spring, as far as moisture in the west, because we need it. Severe storms and fire weather threats in the southern plains. A weather system will bring severe storm potential and gusty winds with critical fire weather threats to parts of the southern plains. Severe storms may produce large to very large hail, isolated damaging winds, and a few tornadoes. Moisture overnight in an overturning boundary will bring snow to parts of the Great Lakes. Rain and mountain snow is expected in the northwest as well. So that severe weather threat is right here, developing in Texas, Louis northern Louisiana here. And here is your Tuesday, and that is going to be moving east, southern Alabama into Wednesday, and then Florida. The severe weather threat is Wednesday. Greek, Greece breaks its national low temperature record in historic snowfalls on Turkish, Turkish beaches as Portugal admits it's rationing food. That, those are the headlines. And we just got smacked with that long duration sea flare as predicted. About 24 hours ago, you could see the interplanetary shockwave hitting all at once in all the telemetry. And then about 12 hours after that, boom, we had a major a uh, series of earthquakes. So there's the geomagnetic storm. The earthquakes begin right here at about 15 UTC. And you can see the magneta, the magnetometer going off the charts with the, over a 100 nano Tesla change almost instantly there. And that big wave, well, it caused strong earthquakes to shake Indonesia and the Philippines, but caused, thankfully, no damage. In Indonesia, a 6.7 magnitude earthquake hit off the west coast of Sumatra, and in the Philippines, a 6.4 tremor struck at 110 kilometers off of Luzon Island. But no reports of injuries or damage. And those are the locations of the quake. And that's all associated with the plasma front and the geomagnetic storm here. Actually happened right here in this shift. That's the time the earthquake happened. So it was a shift in the phi and the BZ that pushed that over the edge. And luckily, there's no damage or injuries. There are no other quakes of note um, except for those two rumblers. Now, let's talk about a short duration M 2.0 flare that just occurred. Now, luckily, no CME was produced, and the three day geomagnetic forecast is still for geomagnetic storm or instability, but telemetry is not showing any increase in the KP index anytime in the near future. And this M flare is going to produce no space weather, so all is quiet on the western front. Worldwide Volcano News Update, we have Besam, the Yanni Volcano, returning and potentially puffing and passing to 16,000. No other uh, volcano noteworthy events. Now, an asteroid was just discovered hours before it impacted Earth. 
Astronomers discovered an asteroid approximately two hours before it struck Earth's atmosphere over the Arctic Ocean on March 11, 2022. This should be a wake-up call. That in the event of a large flare, a large CME or outburst from the sun in very high magnitude, it could push objects into our atmosphere and there'd be no way to predict it. Additionally, if a swarm of objects were coming at us, we would have no warning as well. And that's not good news for what's coming. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Just got back from a long driving trip. Some great footage of mantis petroglyphs and ruins. And they'll be up later tonight. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom. To knowledge.